Hi everyone, it's Amber from The Sensible Mama, and today I'm going to do kind of a different Five Ways Wednesday than usual. I have so many people ask me about cloth diapering, and when they do, they always say, it's something I want to try, but I just don't really know if I'm cut out for it. And I think the reason why is because there are so many misconceptions about what cloth diapering is like, and really how much work it entails. So today, I'm going to go over five ways to do cloth diapering in a way that is just as convenient or maybe almost as convenient as disposable diapering. You'll want to make sure that you stick around until the end because I have a special deal for three lucky ladies. tip is to make absolutely sure that you pick a cloth diaper that's right for you and your needs. There are all kinds of cloth diapers out there and when I started cloth diapering, I think the first thing that I thought was that I needed to be a cloth diapering purist. Like I had to go find the cloth diapers that were like my grandmother would have used that, you know, is just the cloth piece of fabric and some like safety pins. And I tried stuff like that um, and it just didn't work for me. I was not a fan at all. So I tried lots of different kinds of cloth diapers and I found what works for me best are either pocket diapers or AOIs or all-in-ones. I like the Rumparoos brand. Um, it's carried by Kanga Care. These are my absolute favorite cloth diapers and I'll show you why. When you buy these cloth diapers, what you get is a pocket diaper that has a pocket inside of it and you get two inserts that come with the diaper. These diapers are one size fits all and what that means is that you can wear the diaper small like this that's just small enough for a newborn or you can unsnap these buttons here and the diaper becomes full size. I've been using this kind of diaper since my baby was two months old and they still fit. Here's what the inside of the diaper looks like. And as you see, it looks just like a disposable diaper. The only difference is there's a little pocket right in here and that's where you place your insert. Now, what I love about the Rumparoos is that they come with actually two different inserts. The first one is one that you might want to use if you are using the smallest setting on your pocket diaper. Then you have the bigger insert that can either be worn this way, um, all the way extended, or you can actually fold this over and snap it in place to make it a little bit smaller. Um, you put the fold in the front for a boy so you get more absorbency where the boys need it. And if you have a girl, you turn it the other way and put this in the back where the girls are going to need it. When you're cloth diapering overnight, you can actually use these two inserts together and then you have a little bit extra protection for while baby is sleeping. The thing that I love about this system is all I have to do is put the insert down inside of the diaper it takes two seconds and now I have a fully ready to go diaper and I just put this in my diaper bag and I'm ready to put it on him whenever. The all-in-one diaper is basically the exact same thing except the all-in-one does not have an insert that goes into the pocket. It just has an insert that flaps over here and it's all attached to the diaper. That means that there's no putting an insert into the diaper. It's a little bit simpler, um, but I like it a little bit less just because I like being able to um, put my insert inside of the diaper and layer it if I want to to get more protection. Now, I carry the Rumparoos brand exclusively at my shop because this just happens to be my favorite brand. Um, I think for me, it's the best diaper out there. But you should do a little research and see if there are other brands that you might like better. And of course, if you want to, try things other than the pocket diapers and the all-in-ones. It's always better to try more and eliminate the things that don't work. But I will say, if you're one of those moms who wants to do cloth diapering as closely to disposable diapering as possible, the pocket diaper or the all-in-one is probably the best way to go. Tip number two is to make sure that you have all of the right gear for making diaper changes as easily as possible. The easiest thing about disposable diapering, in my opinion, is that you can just dispose of the diaper right away and it's not on your mind anymore. You don't have to worry about it at all. Cloth diapering can be just as easy as long as you have all the right things in place um, in order to make those changes quick and expedient and you don't have to think about them when you're done. The first thing that you need to make sure that you have is a big pail and a pail liner. I like to use the Kanga Care pail liner personally. First of all, I found that it's the best one for not creating leaks. 
the last thing that you want is a pail full of wet and dirty diapers that is leaking. So the Kanga Care Pail Liner, in my opinion, has been the very best one so far for keeping everything that needs to stay in the pail in the pail. Rather than using a garbage can, which is what most people use for their pail, I decided to use this hamper from the container store instead. I love this because the Kanga Care Pail Liner fits perfectly over those metal bars. It holds my pail upright, and because there's not like plastic all around that pail liner, it actually lets my diapers breathe a little bit. You might be thinking that if you have diapers inside of a pail, you want to have a cover on the pail to keep the smell from coming out. But I can promise you from personal experience that you actually want those diapers to be able to breathe. That's why I love this setup with the laundry rack and the Kanga Care Pail Liner in there. The next thing that you want to make sure that you have is some kind of large wet bag. This is the Kanga Care wet bag and what I love about this one is it's got this snap hook on the top and what I use this for is basically to hook this onto my stroller when I'm having a long day out. So let's say I'm going to be spending a day at the mall or maybe we're going to a theme park and I'm going to have a lot of diaper changes. I can attach this to the side of my stroller and then just toss dirty and wet diapers into there, zip it up, no smell, no problem. If I'm not using my stroller on a given day, then I keep this in my car bag. And really what I use it for is like spillover. The third kind of wet bag that I always have with me is my Planet Wise medium wet bag. This one is perfect for just being out and about for short trips. It can hold, mm, let's see, I've never tested it out all the way, but there's one diaper down in there, if you can see. But, let's see, I'll toss two in here. I'd say it probably fits three or four diapers. So I keep this with me when it's just gonna be a short day out. Um, and once I'm done changing a diaper, I just toss that baby back in here, and then I put this in my diaper bag. When I run out of space inside of this bag, I can then go to my larger diaper bag that I keep in my car bag and deposit older diapers in here. Why does this make cloth diapering almost as easy as disposable diapering? Well, because if you're using disposables, you're probably carrying something like this anyway. This is one of those Arm & Hammer deodorized bag carriers, and this is what you would be putting a disposable diaper in if it was dirty and you didn't want to leave a smelly diaper somewhere. So really, the only difference between using disposable diapers and one of these and cloth diapering is you use one of these instead. The great thing about these is that you can toss them in the wash right with your cloth diapers. Tip number three is to plan the number of cloth diapers you're going to buy around how often you wanna do laundry. One of the great things about cloth diapering is that you do save money as opposed to buying disposable diapers and you save the environment as well. But I think a lot of people get caught up on the idea of saving money and they wanna buy the smallest number of cloth diapers possible, which I think is wonderful, but you also need to understand that the less diapers you have, the more laundry you're gonna do. So what I suggest is figuring out how many days a week you're comfortable with doing laundry specifically for cloth diapers and then buy the appropriate number of cloth diapers to match how often you wanna do laundry. Now, every baby is different. Some babies are bigger wetters than others. Some have more dirty diapers than others. But in my personal experience, I found that starting with 12 diapers had me doing laundry about once a day. You have to plan on changing a cloth diaper on average every two hours. So when I was doing it that way and cloth diapering day and night with only 12 diapers, I was doing laundry every day. When I went to 24 diapers, I was able to get away with doing laundry every two days. And now I have around 34 to 36 diapers. I've got some stashed away in my car bag, so I'm not totally sure. But now I can um, do the laundry about every three days. I could technically go longer than that because we do um, disposable diaper at night a lot of the time, but you don't really wanna push it much further than three days because then you do start to get barnyard smell. If you're one of those moms that really doesn't mind doing the laundry every day, then buy your 12 diapers and be done with it. But if you want to have a break every now and then from washing the cloth diapers, then get a little bit bigger stash so that you're not always washing diapers. Trust me, you will get tired of cloth diapering if you feel like you're having to do laundry every day against your will. Tip number four is somewhat related to number three, but that one is be okay with supplementing with disposable diapers. I don't know if this happens to everybody, but when I first began cloth diapering, I really felt like I had to only cloth diaper, and I almost felt like I was going to be judged if I didn't. 
But what I've realized in the year that I have been doing cloth diapering is that there's no extra points for doing exclusively cloth diapering. You really have to do just what is like the most comfortable for you. One of the best things that I think you can do is use disposables while you build your stash. You don't have to go out and buy 36 cloth diapers right away just so that you can not have to do laundry every day or two. Go ahead and buy just one or two cloth diapers if that's the best you can do for now and then just use disposables the rest of the time. I like to use disposables at night. My son happens to be just a really big wetter and what we were finding was that my son was waking up in the middle of the night because he was uncomfortable and needing a diaper change. And after some time, my husband and I just decided none of us are getting any sleep. We are all functioning better when we have had our rest. So why don't we put him in some Pampers baby dries overnight and just be done with it. We personally like to also use disposable diapers for travel. The thing is, even if you're only using one cloth diaper a day, you are still saving money and you're still saving the environment and getting the benefits of using cloth diapering. Tip number five, and I really feel that this one is the most important, especially if you're a performance driven person like me, and this one is to remember that cloth diapering is about saving money, but your time also has a monetary value. When I started cloth diapering, I really thought that I needed to do everything related to cloth diapering. So I went out and I bought cloth wipes as well. I was making my own wipe solution. I was forcing myself to use my cloth diapers 100% of the time even when it wasn't convenient for me. And I just found that between my job as a psychologist, between my business at thesensiblemama.com and this YouTube channel, I just did not have time to be washing cloth diapers and washing cloth wipes and making my own wipe solution and my own um, pale liner deodorizers and all those things. You can check out this video right here if you want to see what all I was doing back then. So I finally had to realize that all of those things were great and they were saving me money, but they were taking up so much of my time that it just wasn't worth it. So now I'm proudly a disposable wipes using mama and I don't care. That's just one convenience in my life that I'm happy to have and I'm okay with that. You know, there are wash routines that make your diapers last a little bit longer. You can put your diapers out to air dry instead of putting them in the drying machine. You can be constantly testing and treating your water for hard water if you have it. You can strip your diapers, you can bleach your diapers, you can make sure that you never use anything but the cloth diaper approved butt pastes. And all those things are really great and they will make your cloth diapers last a long time, but the truth is you can do a really, really simple wash routine and even put your cloth diapers in the dryer and they will last. Think of your cloth diapers as an investment with a shelf life. And what I mean by that is be okay with accepting the fact that you might have to throw them out eventually and replace them as they get old. I have a wash routine that is super, super simple. It takes me almost no time at all. I don't do all of those things that they recommend that you do that are good for your diapers but that take a lot of time. And my cloth diapers are going on a year and I'm just now having to replace a couple of them and those were the pre-loved ones that I bought from a friend. All the ones that I bought brand new are still doing just fine. All right guys, so that's it for me for this Five Ways Wednesday. I wanna help three of you ladies who are interested in getting started with cloth diapers. So for the first three ladies who respond in the comment section below that they wanna build their cloth diaper stash, I will give a 20% off shopping spree in my store, thesensiblemama.com, on all cloth diapering gear. Just leave a comment down below letting me know that you want to enter in the spree and I will get in touch with you about what to do next. Bye guys, I'll see you next week.